Psalm 119 verse 11 says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Hi guys, welcome to yet another video. My name is Angie and this space is called Just Call Me Angie and I'm really, really glad you're here. Today we're going to be talking matters faith and particularly about being able to build the consistency in terms of studying God's word because that is something that is critical. We talked about in the last video about why it's important to keep growing and one of the ways to keep growing is by um, studying God's word. And so today we're gonna to talk about how do you do that? How do you keep faithful? How do you keep consistent? How do you grow your love for studying the Word of God? Stay tuned! Guys, there's a huge difference between setting time and finding time. Many people have this in their language. I'm going to have find time to work out. I'm going to find time to eat right. I'm going to find time to study the word. I'll find time to do this. I can't find time. But guys, let me tell you about proactive people. Let me tell you about people who get things done. People who get things done, set time. Set time for things that are important to them. They prioritize and they set time. They allocate time towards things that are important to them. So if reading the Bible is important to you, do not try and find time. That is the first thing to get out of your, oh, oh, got off. Get off your vocabulary. Finding time, no, you set time. You know the 24 hours you have in a day. Set time, I preferably set time before everything else comes up set time that is consistent every single day set time that you're going to be doing daily study of the word and prayer so whether or not it is right the first thing in the morning or maybe in your lunch hour or late in the evening you need to set time and let it be the exact same time every single day I mean of course things can happen and you might need to move it but it should not be you're moving it every single day that is not something that you've set time for that is something you're trying to find time for and to keep being bumped off the list so once you have an appointment guys take it as seriously as if you're having an appointment for a job interview an appointment with the president an appointment with your health um, care provider you know so you need to set time so set time and this time needs to be consistent every single day because we are creatures of habit if you have a set time then you will keep waking up your body will keep responding your body will keep like to remember that in, at this particular point in time we do this and this and this amount of time that you're setting does not have to be three hours long does not have to be two hours long guys it can even be as short as 15 minutes or 30 minutes of course you don't want it to be like five minutes because it's not not much you're reading in five minutes okay there's not much you're reading and digesting and processing and praying about in those five minutes try and do 30 minutes if your day is a hectic day wake up earlier guys this is critical enough this is important enough that you can and sacrifice 30 minutes of your sleep in the morning and if you feel like it's so bad that you're sacrificing 30 minutes of your sleep sleep earlier sleep 30 minutes earlier the night before and every other night um following that so number one prioritize by setting time setting a particular point uh, a particular amount of time or a particular set time for you to be able to um have time to study the word number two is um determine a place to start and you keep reading from there so it's not just opening the bible and be like hey Acha, uku, where are we reading today we're going to read one verse from here tomorrow read one verse from there you need to be consistent in terms of building the bible talks about precepts upon precepts so it's one thing building on the next and building on the other so find a particular book and if you're not you're just starting to read the bible i'd encourage you to start with the book of john or any of the gospels because that will be it's good it's a good and easy place to start reading and you get to know about this jesus who this whole christianity and salvation journey is all about um being in relationship with so start and then read small passages um, every single day you don't have to read 16 chapters in your first day it's not like you know like how people go to the gym and the first day they want to work out for four hours and then they never go back for the rest of the year because there's so much trauma in their body and still pain and they're on medication because they're trying to recover the same thing guys you can't just start with your 16 chapters and that is not even the goal at the end of the day the goal is not how much you can read in a day the goal is how much you are paying attention how much you're willingly um putting yourself in the place where god is speaking to you you're getting to know god you're getting to know yourself better you're getting to hear him because a big way of how god speaks is through his word so if you can read three um verses um every day or you can read portions so like if you read in the bible you can read between two headings you know so depending on which bible you're using or you can read one chapter if it's not like 105 verses for example um so yeah just read small portions of scripture every day um the small passages and that will go a long way and every day you build on that so today i read verse one to three tomorrow it was four to six and then be able to take time to meditate and think through that number three um if you 
you don't know where to start again even with the books of the bible use a reading plan there are many many reading plans a devotionals a reading plan or a devotional so you can buy a hard copy devotion a devotional devotional um like um, uh, um our daily bread you can use any others like many of the christian bookshops now have lots of um devotionals and you can just use that and you can read um the bible portion every day and then the reflection they have there for you or you can get a reading plan many churches have um, a one-year reading plan or a particular topic reading plan um etc you can use that to guide your daily reading of scripture number five in addition to those so now you've gotten your daily um meal time meal time because you're eating you're feeding yourself with the word of god so your daily meat meet um, um your daily eating time, you're getting that every single day and you're getting that in, you're getting all the nutrients, you're getting all the good stuff in. In addition to that, because guys, let me tell you the truth about this life of salvation, this life of Christianity. There is your spirit man who is rebirthing in you and wants the things of God, but there is also your flesh and your body and your worldliness and your, ugh, I don't care, whatever comes, whatever comes, etc. Whatever you feed is what will grow. The more that you give your body and the more you give your spirit man, and, um, the word of God the more it will desire the word of God by the way you discover after you've done three days of reading the word of God consistently you will keep looking forward to it like you'll be strengthened inside you'll be remembering scripture you'll be doing different things um, related to that scripture and you'll be feeling like you want to do more so the way in which to increase your consistency and your appetite for the word of God is a number of things one you can get the audio Bible if you're going to listen on a CD or a cassette those ones you can get externally but on your phone you can be able to get the audio Bible um, or get your Bible app like for example I use U version and U version for most of the versions of the Bible. So I usually use the message version, I use the NLT, I use TPT, I use ESV, um, NKJV, and all of those have an audio option. So when you're not in your meal time, other times when you're driving, when you're on the road, when you are zubaring, when you're cooking, when you're cleaning, when you are um, just doing mindless work put the bible to be played so you can be listening to the word of god and the word of god is coming and seeping into your soul even when you're doing other stuff so just expose yourself to more and more of the bible that's another thing and last tip that i can give you is also being able to do big chunks of reading one of the things that we did we started last month with my family like my my birth family so my parents and my sisters is that we started doing five chapters of the bible every single day so we started the book of matthew now we're reading the book of second corinthians guys so every day we just read five chapters this is not part of our morning devotions or evening devotions. for me it's morning devotions other people have their devotions at different times um beside that and what i'm reading there i'm also doing these five chapters and those ones are not as in-depth or in um as much detail so i'm not spending so many hours i'm literally just reading verse after verse so i'm just getting context when you're reading bigger portions of scripture you get context for what is in there and that is very very important so the last thing in the video <laughs> hello Okay, guys, so the last thing is memorizing scripture. So take time to memorize scripture, even if um, it's not your thing. Just do, even if it's one verse a week or one verse a month, make it a habit to memorize scripture. Get one verse that is speaking a lot to you, one verse that is encouraging you, and use that verse to be a verse that, you know, it's like your monthly memory scripture or scripture memory. And from that, guys, you'll find yourself growing so much more in remembering the word of God, in using the word of God in prayer, in using the word of God in situations, in different times where you are different times where you're discouraged or you're going through things um, and you will be able to grow and stuff. Okay guys, I think I'm all over the place, but thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. Bye. To do, then you are going to be able to be able to. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this out. <laughs> okay, she feels, feels good.